Hey, I'm Adam Thompson. I'm a consultant in strategy, organizational design and leadership. And today I wanna to go on a bit more about this team leader thing. Let's get right into it. In a previous video, I explained that instead of drawing the team leader role like this, and instead doing it like this, we can better demonstrate that ultimate accountability sits with this managerial role here, whereas this person is effectively an assistant to, or a leader of the team, who gets involved in the day to day, but is not actually the one finally accountable, like a captain on the field. And by the way, when we're talking about this, we're usually talking about work that's happening on the front line. It'd be weird to run something like this into the high levels. Maybe it could be done, maybe, but usually we're talking about the front line. Okay, getting rid of this. Today I had a perfect example of the team leader role. I was on a school excursion to Old Talem Town, right here in South Australia. And if you haven't been to Old Talem Town, it's pretty freaky. Rightio, so here's this one. Check this out. Normal, hey? Yeah. That actually happens. So now think about any given school excursion. The word goes out to say, hey parents, we need some helpers on the day. So what we all know is that fundamentally, who is accountable for the safety and well-being of the school excursion? It's gonna be the teacher. And the work that teachers do is awesome. If you're living in some sort of fantasy land, by the way, which is how easy it to be a teacher, you get all those holidays, then why don't you do that job if it's so easy? It's really hard and impressive. Anyway, so what we've got is the teacher. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have the teacher's usual bunch of students. There they are there. Wouldn't it be great if they all just sat there like circles instead of being the actual children that they are? You can tell I've got three kids. So for the teacher to actually fulfill their accountability for the safety and education of this group of children, but to be doing it in a foreign place where there's big outdoors and that sort of thing, we're going to need some extra on the ground leadership. So how does this happen in an instinctive, organic way is we end up with parent helpers. And then the parent helpers, it gets divided up basically like this, where what we've done is we've grouped them together, we've got all the kids there into their groups. But that's not gonna be useful if we don't have some sort of way for the teacher to be able to know who to contact and who to be able to go to for each group. And that's where our parent helpers come along here, 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 and here. Even though the teacher remains accountable, the teacher basically has each of the parents as an assistant to help them fulfill their accountability. But we all know that ultimately the accountability for safety rests there us parents who are there are the leaders through which that accountability gets discharged. Now, in the workplace, we are not being parents in charge of children. It's a different dynamic, but there's one part where the dynamic is similar, which is the person in this role has that little bit extra into the future in terms of their work, has the accountability to see what's going on out there and to make sure that they're issuing directions or advice or support or whatever is required to make sure that the wishes of the teacher get fulfilled. That's where the role is similar. We can basically pick up the common sense structure of when a team leader is appropriate and that's for where the person in the managerial role, which simply means the role that's accountable for the work, is not able to discharge your accountabilities due to the numbers and the complexity out there on the field, in which case, getting parent helpers or getting an assistant to or a team leader or a supervisor, whatever word you want to use, not as someone who takes over from the manager, not as someone who sits between the manager and the person, but someone who's there to assist. Notice how this structure seems to make sense? Well, maybe you could draw your org chart a bit more like this. It'll help people make sense of it as well. Lots of common sense org structures appear naturally in situations where safety is paramount. Just look at the way we look after children. Look at how things are organized in terms of surgery. Look what happens when the battle is on. That's the way we can get some common sense org designs, which we can use to inform how we can sort it out when things aren't so intense. So hopefully things won't be so intense. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.